Hi there. In this video, we're going to learn how we can use the select function to basically just narrow down our data set, basically subset our data uh, just to the columns of interest or the columns that we are looking to analyze at that specific moment. So select is part of the diplier uh, package and which is part of tidyverse. So make sure you have that loaded. Currently, I'm on the reference page for the select function. And there are a lot of details here. The one specific thing I want to touch upon is the selection helpers. And these are just additional functions that uh, basically integrate with the select function and can speed up selection of specific columns. So we'll be using a few different one of these. And as I go through them, they will make more sense. Afterwards, you know, just go ahead and read through the documentation if you want to get some more details. So let's switch to R and start using the select function. What I'm going to do is take my data and pipe it into the select function. And I want to select a couple of columns of interest. Let's say that I want to select the room type and the price. How can I do that? Well, the easiest way I can do that is just type in room type and price. And once I run this, we have the two columns that we specified. We can do this another way, which is to basically put them right next to each other and put a colon in between. So once I run this, it will have the same output as before. We can select different ranges of columns. So let's say that we are interested in selecting both the neighborhood and uh, the neighborhood group. So how I can do that is just pipe it into select. And then here I can say neighborhood group and neighborhood. But let's say that I'm also interested in selecting some other columns we can do something like the price all the way to the reviews per month. And all I have to do here is to specify price and then reviews per month. And so this should give me uh, the number of columns that I specified. So neighborhood group and neighborhood and then all of the other columns that we specified here. Now let's see some other cases. So let's say that we actually want to just deselect some columns that are of, that are not interesting. So what I can do is use the not operator here. And let's say I just want to deselect the host name. I can just put this not operator here and then host name. And once I run this, now you can see that we don't see that one. Or I could just uh, put an entire range here. So let's say that all the way from ID to the host name, none of them are useful. So I'm just going to type ID here, put a colon here. And once I run this, you'll see that now uh, our data starts from the neighborhood group. So all of the beginning uh, five columns that we had, uh, we've gotten rid of them. Now let's take a look at a few of the select helpers. The first one that I'm going to show is something called everything. And everything is a function that I use all the time. What it lets us do is kind of reorder our data, or that's at least how I use it. So let's say that all we want to do is just put the price column at the beginning or the first column, and then everything after that is going to come after. So what I do is just pipe the data into the select function, and I'm going to say price. And once I say here everything, all that's going to happen is price is now going to be at the beginning and then everything else is right next to it. So that's how I generally uh, tend to use the everything function. Of course, you could also put something like the minimum nights and then everything. So now we have these two as the first two columns. Let's check out a couple of other select helpers. So one of the ones that we saw is something called starts with. And this is useful when two uh, two column names have the same beginning uh, sequence of letters. So something like neighborhood and neighborhood group, both of them have the word neighborhood in them. So what we could do is just select them using starts with. So here I'm going to say starts with. And then all I have to do is say neighborhood. And once I run this, it's going to select both of the columns which have the word neighborhood in them. Of course, there's another one called ends with, which is pretty similar. So within our data set, let me see what are some columns which kind of have the same ending. I think the, uh, 
there's not many examples in our specific case, but I could use the, the latitude and the longitude. Both of them hand, end in T-U-D-E. So I could just pipe the data into select and then ends with. And once I run this, we get both of those columns which end with that. So of course we don't have to spell the entire word. We can just simply uh, uh, spell some specific letters of the word. Another one that I want to provide an example of is contains. So let's see what's an uh, interesting example. We could of course just use contains with neighborhood and we would still get those two, but let's look at something else. So let's say that we want to select all of the columns which have the word review in them or reviews. I can just use contains to get that. And what I'm going to do is use contains here. And I'm just going to type review so that we are able to select both the review, the columns which have the word review as well as reviews. Once I run that, we get all three of the columns with that word. Another couple of examples, um, we have another select helper called matches. And matches is useful if you know a little bit of regular expressions. And we'll have a video on regular expressions, so this will become a little bit more useful later on, but currently let's just take a look at one example. So one of the columns here has 365 at the end of it, right? So those are numbers. And that's where we could use matches. So I'm gonna pipe the data into select and then matches. And to put it as a regular expression, here's an argument called match within uh, quotations I'm just gonna type 0 to 9 and in regular expressions that means anything that contains numbers so once I do this it's gonna give me uh, just that column so the 0 to 9 numbers uh, though th all of those numbers are here 3 6 9 all are part of the 0 to 9 range so that's uh, that's an example of how you can use matches and then the last select helper that I'm going to show is something called where. So what where lets us do is apply some type of logic to the way we select columns. So let's say that we are interested in selecting all of the columns which are character columns. I can just use where here. And then there's another function called is.character. And once I run this, basically it's going to select only the columns there are only five columns which are character columns in our data set. So it's just going to select those ones. Of course, I could use something like is numeric, and then it's going to select only numeric columns. And there are about 10 numeric columns in our data set. So I hope this, this video is useful, and uh, we'll be taking a look at a few different examples throughout this course. We'll be using select function a lot of times to narrow down our data set. So you'll be getting uh, a lot of practice with that. I appreciate you joining me, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.